We're next in line for takeoff. Don't forget to buckle up. Next Thursday. You are among the finest surgeons, but that's not the only reason I called you here. A mystery patient. 65-year-old female. Complained of neck and back pain. A relationship exposed. You're talking to other women? Yeah. And a crisis. <laughs> Somebody give me a gurney! That will hit very... He's cutting off the blood supply. Close. Uh, to home. We need to get this baby out now. Grey's Anatomy, new next Thursday on ABC. That was a very weird trailer, to the point that I, I, I'm a little confused as to why the pregnant nurse is going to hit home. So the episode description says, Catherine is in Los Angeles getting the new foundation ready and summons Meredith and Karasik to visit for a highly confidential consult. Meanwhile, one of the nurses is 28 weeks pregnant and collapses at the hospital while talking to Richard. I, I don't get what the significance of the nurse is. I mean, they could have mentioned Thatcher. I mean, they hyped up Thatcher last week for, you know, the episode that just aired tonight. Why would they not hype up Thatcher again? Because they don't have to do, do not have Jeff Perry. But, uh, so the nurse being pregnant, I, I was very, very shocked by like that truly makes no sense. And for some reason it's going to hit close to home. How? So, I mean, the episode description gives nothing away, which is weird. I mean, Grey's Anatomy is, is anything it isn't like Scandal, where every secret was really, really, you know, kept close to the vest, and Once Upon a Time did the same thing, too. So to me, it's very odd that they're not showing the analogy in the slightest. Maybe the promotional pictures will show uh, something else. I haven't seen them yet, so I will, and that will be discussed tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, the nurse being pregnant storyline, I, I think, is very odd. But, I don't know. I mean, hey, a fetal, if um if they need a OB, an OB to come back... Arizona, you, you want to get Jessica Capshaw to come back? Because that would be fantastic. Like, that would be cool. But, uh, I don't know. So the the story, the uh, trailer had two more storylines. It has uh, Maggie talking to, uh, sorry, Jackson talking to other women and Maggie finding out. And that's, uh, you have Kelly McCary, man. What are you doing? Like, that, that bothered me quite a bit. I mean, I get that Jackson is in a little bit of a rut. But maybe is he talking to someone who's more religious? Because, again, Jackson's going through... A religious uh, crisis of faith, and we've talked about the story like quite a bit. So maybe he's trying to talk to someone who's like April to help him, you know, find God. Because you know Jackson, he's agnostic, I would assume at the moment, and April, you know, was very very Christian, and you know April left, and then Jackson becomes agnostic, not atheist, and Maggie's atheist, and so maybe he needs someone to talk to, but or he's just cheating, and I think that would be really really bad if Jackson was cheating because. I know people don't ship Jackson and Maggie together, but I think they work out really well together. And, you know, without April being on the show, I really see a future for this couple. So to have a rift in their relationship is going to be really, really irritating. I mean, when April and Jackson went through hell with Samuel and then they went through their divorce, I was like, this is this is it's entertaining. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it was great drama to watch, but I felt so bad for both of them. So I thought that was, you know. I'm just, I'm not, uh, I don't want that couple to fizzle because they're still going to have to work together and you can't get rid of Jesse Williams or Kelly McCure because they're really great staples at this point. I mean, if you had to pick one to go, I guess Jesse Williams would make sense because Maggie is um, one of Meredith's persons. She's her sister. The last storyline is, uh, you know, Catherine setting up the Catherine Avery Foundation or the Catherine Fox Foundation. The, the Avery name is very much blacklisted at the moment. And uh, Meredith and Karasik are going to help. And they, they don't even show who the patient is. But I'm curious to see more of Debbie Allen and um, Ella Pompeo interact. I think Debbie Allen is a great actress. She's really, really powerful, really strong. Her scenes are very in, uh, innovative to watch. I always enjoy them. She's a really good director. She directed, um, I believe, episode one of uh, season 15 of Grey's Anatomy. She's directed other episodes, but she's a very strong actress. And she always is entertaining to watch. So I'm curious to see you know, her storyline with Karasik. Greg Germain, I really think, has found his role as being... Um, Dr. Karasik, because I saw him on Once Upon a Time as Hades. I thought he was horrible, 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 horrible there. Like, if you if you, if you watch season 15 of, excuse me, season 5 of Once Upon a Time and you, you see him, you're like, what is going on, Greg? Because he's perfect as Karasik. So I'm curious to see, you know, what this storyline is going to be with um, Meredith and Karasik and Catherine, because the patient is also older, too. So I'm really curious, like, what's, you know, the older you get, the less likely chance you have of survival. It's sad, but uh, 
you know, surgery gets more and more risky as you get older. So I'm curious, like, what the surgery is. They said it's highly confidential. And clearly the trailer is, you know, exacerbating said confidentiality. So I think the trailer is interesting, but I'm really nervous for the episode. I mean, the uh, the trailer for episode six, I loved. I was into episodes. I was into episode six until I saw it. The end of episode six was fantastic, but the majority of episode six's plot, as per my review, was not so good. But um, this trailer has me very confused. I mean, I'm looking forward to the Meredith storyline. I'm looking forward to all the storylines, but like, what does the nurse signify? Why do April and Jackson have to, ha or um, Maggie and Jackson have to have issues? What's the storyline with Meredith and um and Catherine? Let's see. So it's 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 a truly uh fun trailer. It's good, but uh I need to see more in order to um get more excited because right now I'm just a little bit more confused. So anyway, share your thoughts about the trailer in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my review, and we'll talk real soon about Grey's Anatomy season fifteen. All right, guys, bye.